Hey, uh, what's up, fam? Senior Cigar here. You are wherever you are. Hopefully, you are healthy and safe and all of that. It is Monday. Brand new week. Another chance to do great things. And I want to wish everybody a productive and profitable week. So, working the afternoon shift. Made my way into uh, Lower Manhattan, Soho, Father Fagan Park. Put a little smoke in the air before it's uh, time to go to work. Onyx. 12 midnight, nightfall, 6 by 60. And, uh, well, you know, Senor's got to do that diet Mountain Dew. Here's to ya. Oh, yeah. So, family, how's it going? How you doing? How was your weekend? Was it wonderful? Hopefully it was. Now it's back on that grind. Another five days to do that thing. Make that paper. Right? Uh, before we get into everything, uh, once again, I want to I wanna reach out to everybody and, and, and respond about something. Uh, it... it completely totally amazes me how social media gets information out and and spreads out and and the responses that you get and where the responses come from as you know last week I, I mentioned that our brother of the leaf Edward John had passed away and the responses that I got not only from my cigar community but from people in my other communities, uh, people that I went to elementary school with, people that I have worked with in broadcasting, people that I went to college with, people that I went to high school with, have reached out to send their condolences to me and also you know, through me to send condolences to, to Edward's family it just amazes me how social media gets out there. And uh, I just want to thank everybody who responded to the post uh, that I made on Facebook, on Instagram, on X, uh, about our brother, the Leaf, Edward John. Thank you all so much for uh, reaching out to me. And, uh, and, and and, and a few people that I have not heard from in a long time, in a little, so little while. And it's just so good to know that you're out there and, and thank you uh, for responding and uh, just thank you. All right, family, so let's do what we do. Shout out to the medical professionals, first responders, EMS workers, police and fire, postal workers, MTA workers, delivery people, truck drivers going across the country, the mom and pop shop workers, the bodega shop workers, the laundromat workers, anybody who has been considered or deemed essential personnel for the duration of the pandemic and moving forward. Thank you for what you have been doing for the duration of the pandemic and moving forward. Thank you for taking chances with your own health and safety for the health and safety of all of us in this city, in this state, in and around this country, what you have been doing. So greatly appreciated. Saying thank you is not enough, but we do start out by saying thank you for everything you have been doing for the duration of the pandemic and moving forward. And of course, you know, I'm going to remind you to please check in on the elders of your family, your family or friends who live alone. They need to hear from you. They need to know that they're not alone. They need to know that someone loves them. So please get in touch with them any way you can, whether it's through a phone call, text message, social media, video chat, Zoom, house party, Google door, FaceTime, Skype, and remind the people within your circle of friends to do that very same thing. Get in touch with their elders and their family and friends who live alone because no one needs to be alone at this particular time in our lives. Absolutely no one. So please take the time, make the time, reach out to them, find out how they're doing, see if they need anything, see if there's anything you can do for them. If this is someone you profess to love, then this should not be a problem, fam. It is all about support. And while we talk about support, Let us not forget about all the fine ladies and gentlemen, the wonderful people that own the mom and pop shops, the great small businesses 
all those wonderful cigar shops and lounges in the tri-state area. They need our support now more than ever as well. Whether it's a shop where you can come in, make your purchase, grab and go, or maybe it's a lounge with comfortable seating where you can come in, make your purchase, find a spot to plop, sit back, relax, light up, put some smoke in the air, light. Mm. Maybe a pair that fine tobacco product with your drink of choice, whether it be an adult beverage or a soft drink, once again, your choice. And maybe even have a conversation with another brother or sister of the leaf or family. None of that can be done unless you make the effort to go to that mom and pop shop. So what does that mean? That means you are going to break open the piggy bank, fellas. You're going to open up your wallet, blow the dust out, pull out some dollar dollar bills, y'all, and make your way to that mom and pop shop. Whether you drive down there or you let somebody else do the driving for you, you use a, a car service of some kind, or you use mass transit, you're going to get on the bus or the iron horse, or maybe you're going to use your bicycle or e-bike or a moped or your motorcycle or a skateboard or a pogo stick or, or roller skates. I said roller skates and make your way to that mom and pop shop. And when you get to that mom and pop shop, you walk right in and you say, hello, to the fine tobacconist behind the counter because they are going to help you make your selection. They're going to help you make your purchase. Then you walk into that humidor. It smells so good in there. All that wonderful, wonderful, fine tobacco products on the shelves. And you're going to look around on those shelves, make your selection, step up to that cash register, and make it rain, baby. Make it rain. Spend a few dollars to keep their cash register ringing and their doors open because it is all about support. Hashtag support mom and pop shops. Hashtag support small business. Hashtag support black business. Hashtag support Latino business. Hashtag support Asian business. Hashtag support small business family. We are all in this together. We need each other now more than ever and it is the right thing to do. So take the time. Make the time. Get off your ass and jam on over to that mom and pop shop, that great small business, that fantastic cigar shop or lounge in the tri-state area and show your support. Mm. All right. So now for many of you, you're getting ready to go to lunch. I'm getting ready to start my my work day. But wherever you are on your day, hope you're having a good day and it's a great day. But what about when you get off work tonight? What happens when the clock strikes five, six, seven, whenever you get off work? What you gonna do? Maybe a nice romantic dinner with your significant other. Maybe you're gonna go to a bar and hang out with some friends, throw some back, pound some down, watch that Nick playoff game. Maybe you are gonna go to that mom and pop shop, that great small business, that fantastic cigar lounge in the tri-state area to show your support, put some smoke in the air, hang out with your brothers and sisters of the leaf, leaf and watch that Nick playoff game. I mean, you're to see a movie or a Broadway show or a concert or a comedy show. Or maybe you want to go sing karaoke, family, whatever you got planned for tonight or any night moving forward. Make sure that a part of that plan is staying safe. Stay safe and stay healthy so you can stay alive. Yes, the coronavirus pandemic is quote unquote over. But the coronavirus is still out there and you got to do everything within your power to make sure you do not contract COVID-19. And a part of staying safe and healthy, well... Staying hydrated, fam. Whenever you go out, have that bottle of water, that lemonade, or that iced tea, or whatever you need to stay refreshed and hydrated. Oh, yeah. Take it from Senor Cigar. You will thank me later for that bit of advice. So whenever you go out, have that plan. Stay safe so you stay healthy so you can stay alive. All right, fam. That is it. I'm wrapping it up so I can continue to enjoy this fine tobacco product, this Onyx 12 Midnight Nightfall 6x60. Then it's off to work. I go to press those buttons, drive those levels, and do what I do. So family, please don't forget. Check in on the elders of your family. Your family and friends who live alone, they need to hear from you. They need to know that they're not alone. They need to know someone loves them. They need to know that together we are getting through all this, and we are getting, all, getting through all of this. Hashtag support mom and pop shops. Hashtag support small business. And if you are indeed going out tonight, tomorrow night, any night moving forward, have that plan. Stay safe so you stay healthy 
so you can stay alive. All right, fam, that is it. That is all I got. I am that man. Senor Cigar, enjoying my fine tobacco products. Pop in my collar, cause I can. And as always, I want to wish you long ashes. And better days. Everybody, enjoy the rest of your Monday at some point. I do hope you'll be able to put some smoke in the air. You know, love you. Like a fat kid loves cake, and there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. Hope to talk to you again real soon. But in the meantime, holla if you hear me. Yeah, baby.